stamp your required design and then cut close to the design and then you need to fold it to find the centre. Use a scrap piece of paper to do this and keep it if you're going to do it again. Mark the centre with a pencil once you see the fold lines. Now stamp your design on the paper you are going to use. Place your card onto your mat. I have laid mine landscape but because the shape I am using cuts in that direction. I am using jasmine and I'm using the oval and the decorative mat. It's on row 4, position 7 of your overlay. Press center point on your expression and press the shift key and the oval key. Now referring to your scrap paper, position your blade as near to the mark as possible. Now press cut. Your image has now been cut in the centre of your desired design. Now load the paper for your mat, release the center point, select the image you require for the mat, leaving your settings at the same size, press cut. This is the finished article. I used the shadow key to make a white mat for behind. As you can see, there are white dots at each point of the design. I think these must be to line up the ring frame that comes with this design. I think I will put gems or ribbons to hide these.